It's ascension. So can I please have your attention? We're headed to the fifth dimension. So if someone falls down, then we lift them off the ground and we're raising our glass and we're shaking our ass. And did I mention that there seems to be a little bit of tension? So we're calling on divine intervention. But don't worry now, raise your third eyebrow. The plan is to transcend and this isn't the end. It's ascension. Let's leave behind the third dimension. We're calling on divine intervention. So things might turn black, but the light will come back. So lift your heart high till you're floating in the sky. It's ascension. Today is April 1st, 2019, and I am your ascension host, Shira Notes. Right now, planet Earth is on a strict timeline for ascension. In simple terms, ascension is a planetary-wide dimensional shift from 3D to 5D reality also known as fourth density. We cannot stay anchored in 3D reality forever, as this ship must set sail, and the show must go on. All things must change and evolve, and it is now our time to do so as the human race. Right now, it is crucial for all of you to begin to understand that the earth plane, or what you perceive as your reality on a daily basis, is a school for soul learning and evolution. We are being asked to raise our consciousness to meet the fourth density mindset of love, compassion, truth, and unity. Planet Earth will no longer be able to sustain negativity or violence, so those who are not able to ascend right now will be going to other planets to continue living at the lower vibration. This may sound crazy to you, but I assure you that this is the God truth of the matter. Your soul came here to planet Earth to master certain God qualities. These include love, faith, strength, compassion, empathy, trust. In order to master these qualities, there are lessons that your soul came here to learn, that your higher self set in place for you prior to incarnating into your physical body. These lessons can include, but are not limited, to loss, illness, poverty, addiction, abuse, fear, insecurity. Whatever the lesson is, there is an inherent human struggle that you are here to transcend and overcome in order to achieve your desired soul growth. Human evolution is not the only type of evolution. Your spiritual evolution as a soul is achieved substantially through your human or other life form incarnations, whether here on planet Earth or in other worlds in God's universe. I understand that these are desperate times for a lot of us. This is because we are being asked to learn our lessons on a large scale this is a big school here, and we are at all different levels of learning. Just think of it as a high school, where there are four different grade levels, and we can no longer put ourselves on those different levels. We actually want to be seeing each other as being on equal playing fields. So whether or not you want to, we have to let go a little bit of our ego right now. So we step down slightly, Allow somebody else to step up so we can be on the same playing field. We all want as many people here on planet Earth to be able to stay here when 5D becomes a reality. So we have to be willing to let go of the past. Whatever happened, whatever mistakes we made, it is really important now for self-forgiveness, knowing that God forgives those who can forgive themselves. Letting go of labels is really important right now. We have to be able to see our common humanity and our common spiritual identity in God. We can no longer hold on tightly to our chosen religious identity that we chose in this lifetime, whether that is Jewish or Christian or Islamic or Catholic. We must come to realize that we are one in God and all is love and all is set up in order to learn 
love and emanate love and be love. It is so important now that we come together in our communities, no matter what our perceived differences are, because God wants as many souls as possible to graduate to the fourth density. This plan has been in place for thousands of years, and it is time now for love and light to reign true on planet Earth. Again, this is your Ascension host, Shira Notes. I will be guiding all of you here on planet Earth in the coming months and years ahead. Good luck to you, and know that I am on your side always. In the name of our one creator, I bless this day across planet Earth. I pray and ask that all forces of benevolence win out in the fight against darkness, and that we as a planet desire and choose consciously to come together as one love and one light in God. God bless you. See you soon.